Really, one more time, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Nicholas of A Marionette. Yeah, hell yeah. Yes. So you do you work in the casino? I imagine. Yeah. So I work in uh, the Palazzo on the Strip. I I, um, I manage a retail store on the Strip. Oh, cool. Hell yeah. Are you are you from Nevada originally, or did you move there? No, born and raised in Vegas. Okay, dude, that is awesome. I've almost moved to Vegas a couple of times. Well, dude, we appreciate you stopping on the show. Um, first off, let's talk Gemini. Who was the producer that you guys chose to to go to to work on Gemini? Um, so we we've been working with Stephen Hawks for a long time. Uh, he is uh, like best friends with Chris Crummett. They used to like work in the same studio together years ago out in portland so he he always mixes and masters our stuff at least from like 2014 on um and then we we do a lot of stuff in-house uh we record um guitars and bass with our former guitar player in his home studio and then izzy self records all his vocals in his studio at his place and um we we do drums with Bo from Seosin in his studio. Oh, that's so it's up. kind of. So when you guys, uh, I saw you guys live many years ago uh, when Quinn was in the band. What was the transition like switching to to Izzy the new singer, and how did you find him? Um, we've actually known Izzy for years. Uh, just he was in several like local projects out here. Including he was in a project with Quinn, believe it or not, uh, when Quinn had like a like a solo thing. And, and <laughs> Quinn always liked Izzy, um, liked him as a person, liked him vocally, uh, musician, just all around great musician. So Izzy kind of fell into our lap when we were doing uh, like vocal auditions. We were we, we had several people audition and his was by far the best. Like his audition was was baddest. Cool, hell yeah. So it was like, uh, this is, um, but yeah, the, I mean, we, it was, we had some ups and downs, I guess, with the, with the transition. We, we knew what we wanted, but, you know, it's always a big, uh, you know, a vocal change is a massive change in a band, right? Like, especially going from someone with like Quinn who had a, like a really, I guess, like operatic voice. It was very distinct. Um, and uh, yeah, going going to someone like Izzy that has, uh, I mean, I think Izzy's an incredible singer, but he's, he is. It's not as uh, not in a negative way. It's you know Quinn had more of a like oh shit I know that voice where Izzy kind of like blends in a little bit more. But I guess Izzy's voice is a little bit more digestible. For so sure. that was you know I know what you're I, saying. I guess we've yeah. So I'm trying to be as uh, polite as possible and not step on any toes. But I, th I think you said it very, yeah. very kindly. Well done. My uh, my co-host today is my boy JB. JB, do you have any questions for Nick? Yeah, <clears throat> knowing Vegas being super, super busy, does your work uh, affect any time when it comes to the band? Do you have to do a lot of uh, just planning when it comes to it? Oh, one million percent. All of us do. I, I use my PTO to tour. Ron does the same thing. It's it's very calculated, and we we definitely have like a a formula and a method to make it work. But yeah, we it's definitely very well planned beforehand, like months in advance before we go on tour and stuff like that. And we're fortunate enough that you know we are able to do it. Um, but that's why you see us doing just like you know ten to fourteen days usually at a time, so we can go back to work and. You know, we can't we can't miss too much work. I mean, I have a mortgage to pay. I'm an old man. So, <laughs> you know, it's uh, as much as I love the music, it doesn't pay the bills yet. So it pays for itself, which is great. It's awesome. We're making strides. But, um, yeah, it's very calculated. How long have you guys known Joey Holiday? Because I, I feel like that was the show that I saw you guys was when he was with his old band, uh, 
and I want to say it was like Malone's maybe. Yeah, so, I mean, we've known him probably five years, probably 2017, maybe six years, 2016-ish. Um, I, that sounds about right. That was probably one of the last shows that we had Quinn at the at the helm. And that's probably when we first met him, honestly, right around that time. Sounds about right. It was a good one for sure. Uh, I do want to do some trivia with you, sir, I, and as well as play a, a couple more songs. Uh, first question, though, is what is your favorite song off of Gemini? Which one are you most proud of? Uh, which one am I most proud of? Uh, moving on by far. I think it's just the one of the most well-written overall tracks that we've ever done, in my opinion. Uh, I just think it's very relatable. Uh, the lyrics are really good they hit home and instrumentally it's just very sound i feel like it's like a radio alternative rock ballad song hell yeah cool um what uh what movie or tv show have you seen the most the most where if i ask you trivia on this movie or tv show you will not get stumped movie i've probably seen twister like a hundred times Totally or, random. Uh, Did not see that coming. And, and Twister, it is. Uh, let's play moving on real quick. It's fire. Do you remember uh, playing a show recently with Atria and I met a Yeti? Chat's, chat's asking. Atria, yeah, yeah. We just we just played like a couple weeks ago with them. Hey, I think I think, I think uh, I an... one of the members of Atria is in chat. He's uh, he just says what's up. Just throwing that nice. out. Nice. Uh... Your Twister. Trivia. Now I'm gonna start off with one that's a little bit easier, and then if you get it, then I know you have seen it a hundred times, and I'll ask you a harder one. <laughs> but the first Twister right. Twister trivia is: In the movie, why do Bill and Melissa visit Joe? Uh, for for breakfast, I believe. That's not correct. I'll give you. No, what is the purpose of them going to see her? Oh, the, well, they went twice, but I think that the second time because the tornado hit there and they didn't have a warning. This is incorrect. Oh, the well, answer is for Joe to sign the divorce papers. Does that ring a bell? Oh, okay. They had to sign. Yeah, because, oh, maybe, is Helen Hunt's name Joe in the movie? I don't know. I believe so. And she like won't sign him. She keeps stalling like the whole movie. Yeah. I'm an idiot. No worries. I'm an idiot. <laughs> we'll go. I'll, I'll go an easier one the second time around. Uh, hell yeah, <laughs> dude. What do you do uh, when when you're not working and and it's not band time? What is just like a fun side hobby you have? Um, uh, just at home chilling, I guess. Uh, like, are you a gamer? Love, you? I'm like a big. Like I sports bet all the time, and I love watching like football on Sundays and hockey. And who's your Who's your team? All that kind of. Stuff. I am a Jersey Devils fan for hockey, um, a New York Giants fan. I guess right now I'm on that Golden State Warriors bandwagon. I love watching that team. I love watching Curry, and Clay, and all those guys. And. Uh, I guess I'm kind of a pseudo Mets fan because I'm not like a huge baseball guy. But if I had a team, it would be the Mets. For sure. Had you gotten the trivia correct, we would have spun this wheel. Let's pretend you did and see what it lands on anyway. JB, you go ahead and fire off another question in here in a second, too. It's going to be a golden ticket. So this means, yesterday we had what we call our Tournament of Champions. It's 32 bands that have either won a previous stream, like uh, people and try to vote it on them, or uh, someone has gotten a golden ticket and picked a band. You just got a golden ticket. You can A, use it for your own band, so we can put you in the next tournament. We, we'll tag you in everything. It's fairly decent promotion. Uh, or if there's a local band that you're feeling that maybe we don't know, we can put them in. Um, no, I'm going to have to be selfish here. <laughs> well, well done. Well done. <laughs> yeah! This means you're coming off the pole and going into the Tournament of Champions 16 lineup. Nice. 
And it's already halfway done. Jesus. I know it goes fast. JB, uh, fire off some more questions for Nick. When you first uh, were growing up and getting exposed to music, uh, what what got you drawn to you know start performing it and doing your own thing? Um, well, growing up, like as a kid, I was always a, like a diehard Van Halen fan, so I was always like super into guitar. Uh, and then, did you ever master Eruption? Honestly, when I uh maybe when i was younger now i never like play that way i guess i mean I, I i do but i don't um but yeah what really got me into like the style of music that i guess we somewhat play was was definitely seosin and taking back sunday and like all those bands really got me into like i guess what we're into now and then uh you know somewhat dgd like they they were pretty innovative over the last 10 12 years i want to say um yeah so i guess that's what got me into like that style i don't it's a good answer if uh if all of a sudden the band is offered just the most insane you guys are with kurt travis right correct on for your deal or you previously were we yeah we we're not currently on any label but at one point in time we were like one of the first bands that kurt had ever like worked with on his esque records label yeah that's what i was trying and to. i don't even know thing anymore or if he's like reworking it out or whatever but yeah he kind of i guess quote unquote discovered us cool well hell yeah shout, out to, shout out to kurt if that sense well he, he he knows fire when he sees it uh so well done there. If if all of a sudden yeah. if all of a sudden the band is just offered the most insane lucrative de signing deal ever, like everyone in the band individually gets ten million dollars, and it's it, all the things look good, you sign it. What what are you buying for yourself? It's time time to splurge. What are, what are some toys or something that you're buying just to celebrate? Oh, for sure, like a brand new Corvette and a battery red. <laughs> Hell yeah! Yeah, convertible or or non convertible? Nah. Hard top, baby. Okay, cool. Stingray? No. Like, is, like whatever the... like the Z06, Z06, brand new Z06, probably. Yeah. With the wing. With the wing on the back. Hell yeah. Well, Nick, we don't want to take up too much more of your time, so we'll do just a couple more questions and we'll let you go. Uh, JB, do you have a final question? I do want to ask one more Twister one also. Yeah. Uh, when it comes to... <clears throat> your band's promotion um are you guys doing anything special that you guys could share to any bands that are starting up right now that you guys are doing something special yourselves or are you going through a promoter um how is that going for you for you and your band oh man i wish i knew some like secrets when it came to marketing fuck i have a degree in marketing <laughs> like i feel like <laughs> i suck uh, no i feel like some of these up and coming bands are like much better at marketing. I literally just had like an hour conversation with Andreas about this not too long ago. I don't know if you guys know who Andreas is, yeah. but he's the man. He's great, but we, we always are trying to like figure out the algorithms or figure out how like certain artists are doing this and that and, you know, getting more and more, uh, I guess, interactions with fans and more organic, you know, following. It's like, not to be negative, but I feel like we had the most interaction on a post in the last year was when we had to unfortunately cancel our tour due to Izzy getting COVID. And I was like, it got like, you know, hundreds and hundreds of interactions and comments. And I'm like, damn, like we should just say we're breaking up <laughs> and like, then we'll get a bunch of actions. But like when we post stuff that we're doing currently or new songs or like whatever, it's like hit or miss. Yeah. So trying to figure out like the TikTok game and how to, you know, it, it's just constantly evolving. So I guess the answer is we, we, we're still trying to figure it out. There is no, there is no secret. If we knew the secret, people would sell it and then everybody would be famous, but uh, it'll happen sooner, <laughs> sooner or later. You guys recordings in sound and live show is all superb. So there's nothing to worry, but just keep Thank doing you. you. One more trivia Thank question you. on, oh, my pleasure on Twister. Everyone's at Aunt Meg's house. 
preparing to go out with Dorothy to catch the, uh, you know, the tornadoes. What does Aunt Meg serve everyone to eat? Steak and eggs. I'll take it. Steak, bacon, and eggs, mashed potatoes, gravy. I'll take it. Well Give me done. Hell yeah. Oh, jeez. Beer helmet. I'll do that in a bit. Uh, Nick, I got a final question for you, sir. It's actually kind of a serious one, uh, but we ask everybody on the yeah. show this final this final question. What is a piece of music advice that maybe a, a Bo or a Kurt or a Tillian or somebody has given you that really was a game changer for you personally or an absolutely terrible mistake you've made in either a marionette or a previous band that you don't want a band starting up today to make? Um, man, that's such a loaded question. I mean, something that uh, Kurt would always say, even like especially when we change singers and stuff, because he, you know, was once the guy that replaced a singer that was somewhat you know i guess quote unquote iconic in a band or whatever you know to just keep going just don't give up just keep doing it like keep you know if you believe in it and and you love it then just keep going like just don't stop there's never a reason to stop i mean again there's certain bands that literally i i i you know i guess i'm super uh we're, we're in a pretty close knit circle with within like the DGD camp, I guess, or bands surrounding DGD. Mm -hmm. But I mean, they're always good. Uh, they're always a good example of like, just don't give up. Like eventually you're gonna, you know, if, if it's good and you believe in it, eventually like it'll catch on, you know, it took them what three singers, five, six albums to, to actually like, explode to the way they are you know what i mean like that would be my advice just if you if you believe in it just keep doing it and don't give up do we have they and said if, have they if said if tillian's coming back uh i don't know i don't know honestly um they they haven't to my knowledge they haven't said anything about him like not being in the band permanently anymore i know like he was stepping away you know, with all the, the whole situation. But to my knowledge, they never made a post about him leaving or being, like, outed. Interesting. So. Well, dude, Gemini is fantastic. You should be very proud of yourself. The band rules. Thank you for coming on. Guys, if you enjoyed the music while we're playing, if you're watching, please support them. Hit the follow button. They definitely deserve it. Nick, have a fantastic day, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, a marionette! Cheers, brother. Thank you so much for doing this. Thank you. Thank you.